going on guys welcome back to the channel today is going to be a fun video for you guys what i'm doing is i'm going over to my dad's buddy's house he just picked up two badass supercars within the last month and one of them is a lamborghini huracan and the other one's a dodge viper not just your standard dodge viper or standard lamborghini huracan this is a twin turbo ugr underground racing lambo and a twin turbo viper not just a regular Viper, ACR Viper, and that one is built by Calvo Motorsports. So, what we have are two supercars built by two of the most reputable performance shops for supercars, Calvo Motorsports for Vipers and Underground Racing for Lambos. And I, this video is about to be epic, guys. We're almost to his house now. We're gonna pull up, I'm gonna do a review of each car and show you guys the ins and outs of them. And we're actually gonna take them for a drive today and show you guys the experience that these cars offer. I have ridden in stock Lamborghini Huracans before. I've driven a stock Huracan before. I've driven a Viper, like a stage one Viper, just bolt-ons, but I've never ridden in or driven a twin turbo Viper or a twin turbo Lambo. And I am so excited to be able to film these two cars today because these are like dream cars to me. And I just cannot wait to feel the power of these two cars because I believe the Viper makes about 1800 horsepower to the rear wheels and the twin turbo Lambo makes about 1500 horsepower, I believe. I'll, uh, I'll verify those numbers when I get there and we talk to Greg. Um, but he's actually just started a YouTube channel as well. I'll put up his channel right here for you guys. Go follow him. He's got a lot of content coming. He's a big car guy and he's always got tons of cars coming in and out. So make sure you guys go subscribe to his channel. I'll leave a link in the description below and I'll also put it up here on the screen for you guys. But uh, yeah, I'm stoked to check out these two cars. I have seen the Twin Turbo Lambo in person. I haven't been able to do a video yet on it just because we've been dealing with each other's schedules and it's just been busy. And um, on top of that, the weather, you know, trying to, you know, plan out a nice day to take these cars out on the highway and make some pulls with them because you're not talking about a 500 horsepower car. You're talking about 1500 and 1800 horsepower cars on the street, street legal cars that are well capable of 240 miles an hour, you know, 220 to 240 miles an hour. And that's fast on the street. You gotta have the right roads, you gotta go down to Mexico and to make that happen. And you gotta have the right temperature because if you do it in the cold, then you're, it's, it, you're risking, you know, you're just risking a lot. It's not safe. If the road's cold, tires are cold, not getting traction, you're squirrely at 200 miles an hour, it's not a good combination. So stay tuned. We're gonna, we're almost to his house right now. We're gonna go check out both cars, go for a ride in both cars, make a couple pulls for you guys, and basically do an in-depth review on each car and share with you guys the experience I'm about to get today. And there they are. Check those two bad boys out. So you have two top tier shops building both of these cars, Underground Racing for the Lambo, Calvo Motorsports for the Viper, and I mean, what a blessing it is to have both of the baddest street cars literally in Michigan. Like, there's nobody touching these cars in Michigan. Um, the Lambo makes how much power? Uh, 1450 plus about 1450 plus and then the viper makes about 1800 it made 1840 1840 to the rear wheel and speaking of rear wheel check these out he's got 18 inch wheels on here they're called bellix right yep. and it's got the bead lock real sharp these are toyo rrs these are not a r triple eight r they're basically a full slick as you can see here and uh how wide are these 345s so these are 345 35 18s on those bead locks, it looks really sharp. Now this is an ACR, as you can see here by the big wing down here, the fender louvers. And uh, what do they call this color? Yorange. Yorange, it's like a yellow orange. He's got the brass monkeys up front. He had 19s all the way around it on r eight rs but then since he's making a lot of power with this thing, he figured he'd put the 18s on there with more of a meaty tire and uh, put the power to the ground better, so. Here's the Viper. I'll have him explain here in a little bit what uh, what's all done to it exactly. Like I said, it's a Calvo Motorsports build and we're gonna go take this thing for a rip, do a couple pulls for you guys and see what this thing's all about. Well, this car here is running on a Motec, so it has traction control and everything, so it puts that 1800 horsepower to the ground pretty well. So obviously the ACR is built by Calvo Motorsports as you can see down here. Um, if you guys are in the car scene at all, you know that Calvo Motorsports is one of the top tier shops to build these uh, Vipers. 
They have a badass twin turbo kit for these cars um, at different power levels. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Greg explain to you what kit he has on this car, what trans he has in this car, and basically like what fuel it's running on and give you just like a rundown on the car before we take it on the street. This is what Calvo would call a 1300X, XX if you will. Uh, it's a fully built short block. Uh, it is a stock headed motor. The heads are not ported. Stock valve, stock valve train, uh, camshaft, a few little things um, on top. Uh, it's got twin turbos on it. It is a sequential transmission. It has the quad, the quad, uh, the quad carbon clutch in it. Um, yeah, obviously, Cowboy's build is, uh, is kind of a whole package. It's on the Motec with the traction control. It has the Ninja Engineering by Colin Murphy. Um, again, the car is super badass. Gets way, way down, on, especially being a rear wheel drive car. I think that. Um, the numbers that we're going to be posting here before too long will show that, so stay tuned for that. But um, but yeah, it's pretty pretty basic package, if you will, um, for what they do. They run some big big packages there, CM 2000s and plus. So we didn't do something like that, but the car has impressed because the car made a lot more power than we initially anticipated it to do. So um, I'm super happy with that, and um, I'm excited to share it with you guys. And make sure you guys go follow his YouTube. I'll put it up here on the screen. It's Turbo Richie Rich. He's gonna have a ton of content coming, so make sure you guys go subscribe to his channel. Um, he does a lot of different uh, car videos, reaction videos. He, he, he's obviously a car guy. I mean, he's even got an older Viper back here that's also twin turbo. But uh, he's just got tons of cars, and what he does is he just goes out and enjoys them, and he reviews them for you guys. Gives you guys his opinion and shares his experience with you guys. So make sure you guys go subscribe to his channel, Turbo Richie Rich. I'll leave it up here on the screen, and it'll, I'll also leave a link in the description below. So make sure you guys go subscribe to him. Like I said, he's got tons of content coming with both of these cars and uh, future cars. I mean, he's, this guy's always got cars coming in and out, so make sure you go subscribe. You don't want to miss his content. Before we take the Viper out on the road, I just wanted to say one thing. This car is running on E85, and what kind of fuel system does it run? It's, it's on all triple pumps, and it's got aftermarket injectors in it. Um, okay. And uh, we run on E85, and it made 1840 on E85. Yeah, that's insane, guys. Insane power. I cannot wait to hop in this car and share with you guys my okay, experience. Guys, so here's a cold start on the twin turbo Viper. Shit. 
of second, you don't have to push the clutch back in. You just, just grab it. second. Yep. And we'll show you when we take off from this light. Yeah, you're just pulling it. But and it's violent. Can... Like, it, you'll see. It's crazy. So, like, here's the clutch. You know. All right, now we're in first.
of the hole, but it's still gonna pull up top. We're gonna do like a 40 mile an hour hit in second gear. All right guys, so there you have it. There's my reaction to 1800 horsepower to the wheels on this Calvo Motorsports built ACR Viper. Wow. I am beyond, I don't, I'm lost for words on this car here guys. Like, I just rode in his Lambo, go check out the last video. Um, the twin turbo Lambo felt really fast, but you get in this Viper with that sequential transmission and it's a whole nother animal. As you can see here, he's got Toyo R, triple eight R's all the way around. Uh, well, on the stock wheels, he's got them all the way around. On these Bellic beadlocks, he's got the uh, RR, the Proxies RRs. There's also a Toyo, but like I mentioned in the garage, it's uh, it's more of like a full slick, almost like an ET Street R, um, Mickey Thompson. But anyway, check out under the hood here. Cavill Motorsports does a very precise job when they build these cars. You can't even really tell that this thing's modified and has 1,800 horsepower. The only thing that gives it away is the Calvo Motorsports logos right there. But other than that, you don't even see the turbos. And now, where are the turbos mounted on this? So they're right, they're right underneath here. Okay. So you side. can't even see them. They're all hidden. And then the Motex all hidden in here, inside there. Okay, so yeah, so like I mentioned earlier, this car's computer is a Motec. It's running on a Motec system instead of the stock ECU. Because when you get up to this horsepower level, the stock computer just, you can't tune it to this horsepower level with fuel trims and timing and everything else. So um, that's why you have to run this car on a Motec. But this is a superb build. Calvo Motorsports killed it, knocked it out of the park. Like I mentioned when I was in the car, I've watched a lot of Calvo cars down at Texas 2K. I've been around some down there and I've seen a ton of videos on YouTube, but I've never been able to experience, you know, the full experience. And today I can honestly say, uh, this thing is amazing. This thing is so fast, guys. Um, I don't even know what my facial expressions were in that video, but when I edit this, I'm probably gonna be laughing because Honestly, like fast cars, I, I love fast cars. I'm used to them, so like I don't really get a reaction like most people do that hasn't ha haven't ridden in fast cars. But I tell you what, this is the fastest car I've ever been in, guys. So um, make sure you guys go subscribe to his YouTube channel. He just started one, and he's gonna have tons of content. As you can see, he's got two badass cars right now in the garage, and he's got many more on the way. So you want to make sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel. Um, he's trying to grow and uh, hit that thousand subscriber mark. So I'll put it up here on the screen, Turbo Richie Rich. Uh, here's his twin turbo, Calvo Motorsports built, ACR Viper, and oh my God, guys, like this thing's amazing. All right, guys, so we got the Viper back home in the garage. Got the twin turbo Lambo sitting here. Um, here's my final thoughts on the ACR built by Calvo Motorsports. This car here, guys, is unreal. Um, I am unbiased, and I'm telling you right now, out of these two cars, out of the twin turbo Lambo and the twin turbo Viper, I have to go with the Viper um, as far as being my favorite. From the passenger seat, um, the G's that this car pulls up top is just unreal, guys. That sequential transmission is so violent compared to the dual clutch transmission in this uh, twin turbo Lambo. Um, this car is a lot smoother, but this car here, make, being that it's more violent, just feels faster, and it is. The horsepower this car makes is obviously a little bit more than the Lambo, so the, of course this car is gonna feel a little bit faster. But for, all, for everybody out there that says you can't get a rear wheel drive car to hook, that is just, I mean, it's, we just proved you wrong there. I mean, this car, hopefully my camera down here by the exhaust got the wheel spin and uh, seeing if it uh, spun on the highway. I don't think it did, it didn't feel like it. It planted pretty well on that, uh, um, Toyo Proxy RR on the 18-inch Bellix with the beadlocks. So 
Um, yeah, that's basically my final thoughts on this car. It's a bad unit. Um, Calvo Motorsports did a great job on this build. And uh, if you guys are in the market for building a twin turbo Viper, make sure you guys go check out them, Calvo Motorsports. And same for Underground Racing. I mean, these guys are all over online. And like I said, pictures and videos just don't do justice. The, both of these cars just flat out get down and uh, they're both quality builds by quality shops. So I know most of you guys are wondering how much money does he have into these cars? How much money does it cost to build one of these cars? And what I'm gonna do is send you guys over to his YouTube channel, Turbo Richie Rich, put it up here on the screen, uh, link in the description below as well. And what he's gonna do is he's gonna explain to you guys the full build breakdown on the Viper and the full build breakdown on the Lambo and tell you guys how much things cost, how much the kit is, how much the car costs, basically how much he's got into these two units. Um, and that way you guys get a good understanding on how much it costs to build nearly 2,000 horsepower cars that you can drive on the street. Mind you, these are street legal cars. Um, neither car has been to the track, but we might have to make a visit to the track here before winter. Who knows? Um, so make sure you guys stay tuned to both channels, see what they do um, on the track and on the street. But both of these cars are just amazing, guys. Like, I'm almost lost for words. I don't know how else to explain it. This is my favorite, though. Calvo Motorsports did a great job on this Viper, and I'm going to have to go with the Viper for my uh, favorite car of the day. But with all that being said, that's going to complete today's video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.